Naver, dubbed as South Korea's Google as the country's largest internet portal, recognized as one of the most favorite companies among college students for its growth and corporate vision. But the reality of this dream job is more than half of the employees were experiencing workplace bullying. According to a survey of Naver employees conducted by the Ministry of Employment and Labor last month, 52.7% of respondents said they had experienced bullying at least once in the past six months. Among them, 10.5% said they were bullied repeatedly at least once a week over the same period. The survey came after the suicide of one of its employees in May from suspected bullying, which were later confirmed to be true. The victim, known as a man in his 40s, has reportedly experienced repeated verbal abuse and insulting words and actions from his direct supervisor and was deliberately excluded from decision-making and suffered under pressure from excessive workloads, according to his colleagues. The accused supervisor was the executive served as a chief leader of the MAP development team. Although the victim and multiple other employees continuously raised the issue of workplace bullying with the chief operating officer, Naver took no action. In fact, it rather treated the victim unfairly by placing him in a temporary team not even related to his work. Following the tragic incident, Naver founder apologized and suspended executives involved in the case including chief operating officer Chae Hyuk. The executive who repeatedly abused the victim was immediately fired. The Labor Ministry decided to refer Naver and its CEO to the prosecution for violations of labor laws. Meanwhile, the company is discussing plans to come up with a new management structure to prevent a recurrence of such incidents.